We are defined by the region we're in, but we're expected to be selective in our research activities and our emphases. We are not a comprehensive institution. We have six specific academic areas in which we operate. We have research responsibilities and we're serving the international, national, state and local needs in those areas. Aviation, engineering, uh, work in the health professions. Those were specialties that we did extra work in. Uh, uh, you look at our doctoral programs, they're very prescriptive but not spread across all academic areas. And uh, our business program is very much geared to the international business environment, but we, we stop at the master's degree level. But we do a lot of work with, with businesses and industry in terms of training beyond university experiences. We serve our faculty, we serve our staff, we serve our students, and we serve our community, which includes our alums. And when you look at our accountability matrix in the university, when we ask the question, who do we serve, those are the four groups we serve. Know the mission of your institution. Know what are the expectations for your institution. Be consistent with your board. Know what is expected before you start the process. And keep it defined. Don't get spread too thin. And then as you start the process of the people that you ask to be a part of your team, make sure they're consistent with you in terms of understanding of the mission. What is it we're supposed to be doing? And it's just like the business community. What's the real question you ask? Who do we serve? 